Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review would be Gran Turismo. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's get into it. Now, uh, this is a this is a real good movie. Um, let's go over the cast before we get into it. So we got David Harbour plays as Jack Salter. Orlando Bloom plays as Danny Br Moore. Takahiro Hira plays as Kazun Normi. That's like the company who drives um has the main cars. We got Archie Maduki plays as John Mardenboro. You got Darren Barrett plays as Maddie Davis. Gary Horner plays as Leslie, which is the mom of uh, John. And then you had Dejan Huzo plays as Steve, which is dad of John. And who else do we have? Uh, Maeve Cartier Lily plays as Audrey, which is the girlfriend. Whatever. So I didn't know this was um, based on a true story. So this was a real good movie. I remember um, many years ago I played the video game of Gran Turismo. Um, that along with uh, the video game Need for Speed. But I really never really got into much video games for the um, when it came to the car racing games. But um, it was always cool to play for the moment. Uh, but this movie starts off where, of course, Jean is in the PlayStation playing a video game. So they're coming up with this GT Academy. And so you got Danny Moore, who is basically saying we could come up with this new age driver and experiment in a sense basically take these kids who been superseding on a video game see if they you could take that into real world and actually make them a professional driver so of course everybody's against it danny moore is presenting it to sponsors and shareholders and everything like that and of course they eventually just gave them the okay let's try it so they put the calling out basically uh saying it's going to be a tournament so john is in his life he's really not going nowhere um doesn't really have a, a real career plan his dad of course doesn't believe in this PlayStation video game stuff, of course, the dad is a hard worker, so he's only knows one way to go about it, and that's hard work, get a job, and John basically saying, I can get it another way, so he doesn't have the support of his dad at first, but he still go to chase his dream, and he qualifies and makes the tournament, so in a tournament, he makes the academy, rather. So he makes the academy, of course, now that he makes the academy, they have to actually now turn into beating people in academy and see who comes out of that academy to actually go professional. So what he eventually does is he burnt out first and then he comes back. And so I left out a part. I left out a part. Let me go back. Jack Salter. So Jack Salter was a professional driver. And so he burnt out, had an accident in one of the big races. And the big race that he burnt out in, he never got behind the wheel. He just became an engineer working on cars. And so he was the rival of Kuzunori. He was working for them and he didn't like the way that the driver was talking to him. So at first he denied Danny Moore, like, I'm not joining your GT Academy. Them kids, basically them kids going to get killed. And so when that happened, he called Danny, basically said, I'm on board as being like the head crew chief um, who talks on the mic to the driver. So he joins the party. So, of course, John makes the team and he becomes the head driver and he's out there his dad is not really fully supporting him he's um audrey he's come fond of his girl he had to um qualify 
after he became the main driver, he had to qualify in one of the tournaments in the fourth position to get a signing bonus. And so, I mean, to sign a uh, sign professional. So he did that, and once he signed, things start coming around for him. However, he was in. He had a big race. Now he, of course, he doesn't know the track fully, but he's been running these tracks in a video video game. So one of the tracks that he was on, he went too fast when he shouldn't have. And what he did was he hydroplane when he went up over like a um, hill and he flipped out over to the side and he hit someone which killed him and so he survived with no injuries but of course he took it hard like it was his fault and everybody was saying it's not your fault you know it's kind of like the nature of this um the dangerous of the job and so from there jack went and told him he never told his full story on why he stopped racing and he told him his story and basically told him i believe in you that you can be better than i ever was and you can get on the big podium for one of the biggest races but you gotta believe in yourself and you gotta get right back in the vehicle right now and so he did that and so it came down to the last big race and on the last big race to get on the podium, you had to, I think you had to become in like the top three. And so he was um, in a race and he was getting um, getting down and it's like a 24 hour race. And in, in the uh, 24 hours, he had to, they had to uh, recruit some of their old GT Academy members and bark them in. And one of them was Maddie. He was going, um, head to head with John but then of course he he coming to back on basically saying that that race wasn't your fault man and you know I got your back and so they came and joined him because it's a 24-hour race so they race while he's taking a break or whatever the stand position so eventually it came down to like the last lap and he was like in well second to the last lap and he was like in ninth place and um he had started he pretty much zoned in from the video game where he created his own line, which was like a cheat code in a sense in a video game, but he used it in real life. And what it allowed him to do is zoom, zoom pass and get all the way back to the fourth place when the last lap came. Last lap came and he went head to head with their nemesis and he ended up winning at the end and got on the podium. Everybody congratulating him. And then after the movie, they showed the pictures of the real actual driver. So that was cool. I didn't know. I didn't know to the end that it was actual. Um, uh, this is based on a true story. So overall, it was a real good movie. You get the opportunity uh, for you, especially if you into r race car movies and stuff like that. You definitely gonna look at this as a dynamic movie. If you're just looking for just a good movie in general, uh, you won't be disappointed as well. Out of my four star rating system, I'm gonna give this a three out of four stars. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.